United States are killing 33 to 40,000 people a year. Self-driving cars, they'll have less accidents and cause less deaths. We shouldn't delay in getting this kind of technology out there, waiting until it's whatever perfect means is a crime. We have a couple of mega trends going on in the world, and this is a global problem. Ten cities will reach populations of over 10 million by 2025. Then we have core infrastructure that's not keeping up with the pace of the need for transportation services. These mega trends can be targeted through enabling autonomous vehicle capability to start being built into our infrastructure. It'll be like an industrial revolution changing the way you design cities. Cities were always in ports because ships could get in and out. Then cities were around where big rail spurs met. Over the last hundred years, they've been built around the road system. But we've built it so that it's really catering to the parking, not the moving. The mall is a small building surrounded with a large parking lot. The right way to build a building is to have no parking, but really convenient pick-off and drop-off zones. We're living in an environment where the ownership model is now being challenged by the shared economy. If you think about a vehicle that has 4% utilization, 96% of the time it's sitting in a dormant scenario, think of all the incredible things you can do with that car. As we've used together the data and analytics, you're extending the capabilities of the vehicle. All of a sudden, the vehicle now can communicate to cars behind it that there is an accident up ahead, traffic congestion, inclement weather. The car can be used very much as an efficient communications a guidance system that enables decisions to be made without the driver even knowing. If you allow mobility to be cheaper, more convenient, safer, more productive, you're giving a huge boost to the economy and that improves everybody's well-being. It's dramatic. <laughs>